Welcome to BuilderWebs and in today's video I'll show you how to clone a website. Cloning a website is basically taking a copy of a website, storing it in another location where you can work on it and not work on the live site in the risk that you might break something or it might disturb things. So how do you clone a website? You can do it in Cloudways. There's a link in the description which you can try Cloudways out for completely free for three days, no credit card needed. So check that out. So basically, once you're in Cloudways, you can go to Applications and then you click on these three dots here and you can click Clone App, Create Staging. And then you choose the server and then you click Create a Staging and then you can click Continue. And then with a minute or two, it creates this staging application here, which it says staging next to always. You can always see what it what it what it was, and then this is the live site. So the way to tell is you can you can check by the URL. So see this one ends in three six eight. If we go back to applications and then we click on your application. That's the 368, so that's the live site. But it creates another URL for the clone site. So see that one says 362. And then you've got 362 there. 362, 362. That's the clone site. So if you're going to make changes on this clone site, you can do that. So say, for example, we're going to install a plugin. Let's just install anything just for this example. You can then go into applications and into the staging application. So there we go, just do it for the example. And then go to staging management. And you've got the option to copy data from staging environment to the live environment just by clicking this button push. And then if you've only installed say a plugin, all you need to do is tick this here and you cannot and you can choose incremental so as it sounds it's only the things that you've changed that it'll update and then you just click proceed and then in no time at all it'll push the changes to the live site and you can view in there so it says your application has been deployed so if we go to the live site and we go to plugins, we'll see that that's now available. If you wanted to, for example, activate this on the live site, so you just click on activate, and say, for example, you wanted to add a new page in or make some changes to a page, you can do that. So we'll just give it a title just for the example, but you could you could be making changes to the page layout and then push it back to the clone site or you could push it from the clone site to the live site. So we'll just publish it for the example. And then what you want to do is go down to it. It says copy data from live to staging. And then what you do is you click pull. And then what I would do is I'd click this database and I'd do full database. But you can also select individual tables that you might want to um, pull to the clone site. But I'm just going to click full database and click proceed. And then within no time at all, it will push the changes from the live site to the clone site. So we should see in it, we should see the plugin fully activated and we should see the new page in the clone site so you can see how you can easily between the two make changes push them and it reduces the risk of breaking the live site so it's really good with stuff like updates in wordpress and updates to plugins updates to themes there we go so you've got your application has been deployed so now what we want to do is go back to the clone site, go to plugins, and we can see it's now active. And we should be able to go to pages 
and see the new page in there and that's the one that we created and as you can see there there's the time it was if we go back into cloudways you can also view the logs so i've been doing a few for this, this tutorial just trying different things out and it gives you the result of it success and all the different times of when they were done and where, whether it was a push or pull so that's that so hopefully now you've been able to see how you can clone a website and you can pull information from the live site to the clone site and you can push information from the clone site to the live site. Again, if you want to try out hosting for completely free, which is the best host I think you can use, head over to builderwebs.com forward slash cloudways. There's a link in the description of the video, so please feel free to check that out. If you've liked this video and you found it helpful, please give it a, a like. If you want to see future videos, please subscribe. I'm Jonathan from Builderwebs and thank you for watching the video.